Wendy, what are you taking my picture? No, I'm getting ready for my mic drop. Oh, you're doing a mic drop. Yeah. I didn't see it on the sheet. Mic I'm sorry. Drop. Mic drop with Wendy. With. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna revisit the enough ordinance. So a few weeks ago, the San Diego City Council decided to ban chunks of metal or plastic that people intend to use to home build a gun from scratch. So yes, you heard me right. They are banning intentions. They're not clear on how they're going to determine which raw materials are intended to be used to build a gun. We've all seen online videos of people making guns in their garage out of shovels, pipes, two by fours. Maybe we should nickname this the ban Home Depot regulation since everything they sell will be illegal if we start following the letter of the law here. Well, the city council is clear about their intentions, which is to ban 80% kits that people use to home manufacture firearms. Their plan is to make it illegal to buy kits unless they are already serialized. Right now, the existing procedure is to get the kit, apply for a serial, serial number from the DOJ, and then build. So you might be saying, what's the big deal? Just serialize them. But this is a chicken or the egg or a cart before the horse issue. You can't buy the kit unless it has a registered serial number, but you can't get a serial number without a kit. So even if you have the serial number before you buy the kit, how can you get that number onto the kit before you purchase it? So this, in fact, is a de facto ban on home manufacturing firearms, no question. So what's worse, what makes it worse is that if you have a kit already, you will be turned into a criminal overnight. And if you buy a kit in another city like La Mesa, Santee, or El Cajon, and you bring that kit back to your home in the city of San Diego, you are now a criminal. You are one unexpected interaction from law enforcement away from being a criminal, even though you are not intentionally breaking a law or hurting someone, even though you're not a career criminal. So you have a fire in your home and the cops show up? Busted. Medical emergency in your home and the cops show up? Busted. Someone breaks into your home and commits a crime against you and the cops show up? Busted. What we know is that this law won't matter to criminals in any way. Much like the other gun laws in California, this law only applies to law-abiding citizens and will not deter criminals. I brought this up at the city council meeting a few weeks ago. Um, I made a statement before the council members, and it fell on deaf ears. Only one San Diego city council member voted against this horrible violation to your rights, your liberty, and your freedom. So thank you, council member Chris Kate, for supporting San Diego County gun owners. If you're hearing this and live within the city limits of San Diego, we need your help. Tuesday... September 14th at 10 a.m. Log into the San Diego City Council meeting on Zoom and make some public comment that you are against this ordinance. I will be there on behalf of San Diego County gun owners and behalf of all gun owners in San Diego County. And this is activism. We need you to make your voice heard. Do not miss this opportunity because together we will win. And that's your mic drop. Mic drop. Thanks for watching this clip from Gun Owners Radio. You can watch us live every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. California time right here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're in the San Diego area, you can listen to us on 1170 a.m. We're also available on your favorite podcast platform for free. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can help restore and protect the Second Amendment, not just in California, but across the country.